Prince Harry is using his concerns about his security in the UK as an excuse to avoid returning, according to a royal expert. The Duke of Sussex issued a statement in January regarding his application for judicial review after a Home Office decision previously ruled he would be unable to personally fund police protection for his family while in England. He claimed he is unable to return to the UK while he and his family are not covered by police protection. In the statement from Harry's representatives, they said, Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family. When Harry and Meghan Markle left for the U.S. in 2020, they began to personally fund a private security team for their family. However, the statement then said, that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return home. Royal biographer Tom Bauer has now claimed the Duke is using worries over his security as an excuse to avoid returning to the UK. He added Harry knows that it's likely to be difficult to maintain friendly relations with the royal family following the release of the book. Harry's book, to be published by Random House, is likely to tackle the brothers' frosty relationship with the Duchess of Cornwall. Rights to the book cost £14.7 million, $20 million, and it is due to be published in the autumn. Mr. Bauer told Closer magazine he thinks Harry will miss Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee in June. He said, I think Harry won't come back because he knows he cannot face his family, and be pleasant with them, knowing what he's written about them in that book. That book will have a lot of casualties and cause a lot of hurt. It will really deliver, as Harry knows it has due, to justify the money he's been paid to do it. How can Harry come back and pretend it's all fine? The worst of what he will say is yet to come. The Duke of Sussex's high court claim against a Home Office decision not to allow him to pay for police protection for himself and his family while in the UK will have its first hearing on Friday. Harry wants to bring his children to visit from the US, but he and his family are unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous, a legal representative for the Duke previously said. Harry and Meghan lost their taxpayer-funded police protection after quitting as senior working royals in early 2020. The Duke is arguing that his private protection team in the U.S. does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad or access to U.K. intelligence information which is needed to keep his family safe. Harry's bid for a review of the Home Office decision was filed in September. Friday's preliminary hearing at the High Court at London is expected to cover what parts of the court documents can be made public or must be kept private.